to start planting a garden because we wanted to eat some of our own food. We thought it would be less expensive and we would know where it came from. We wanted to eat good organic tasty food. The whole idea of being self-sufficient in the city has, has always been something that I've, I've been interested in doing. I work three days a week in town and I do some other stuff. I play piano for different groups and, and I cut hair at home as well. So the garden isn't a huge, like I don't have tons of time for it, but it's really neat to see that I can do a lot in a very little amount of time with the right planning. I guess I come by gardening at an early age because my grandparents were farmers and uh, mother's side in northern Quebec. I can remember picking carrots. My grandmother when I was seven or eight years old and I remember thinning them with my grandmother and eating them and thinking how wonderful they were and sweet. Do you guys know what this stuff is? Oh, oh. Put your That's nose, like put your nose in. Do you know what it is? It's lavender. My mom was a gardener so I learned from her. I just love nurturing things and when my kids grew up then I really got into gardening because I didn't have my little people around. Of course, now I have grandchildren, which is really fun. This is an artichoke, and I actually harvested an artichoke this year. It was really exciting. And they, they need to be cut to the ground in fall, and then you just cover them with styrofoam or straw blankets, whatever you have, and they'll just keep coming back every year. There's lots of fertilizer put in here so they'll just keep growing greenery and not putting the energy into ripening tomatoes, just cutting these suckers are grown out in between the branches here, so like that. The energy of the plant will go into ripening these tomatoes rather than make it more greenery. For a novice uh, gardener, uh, some simple plants to, you know, food plants to grow or peas. I mean, if you didn't have any garden space, you could drain them and put them in a pot on a, on a balcony. Some peas, you, you know, another plant obviously would be tomatoes that you could put in a, in a bucket. To people starting a garden, I would say start with the basics. Um, grow lettuce, plant it every two weeks. People often, they'll plant their garden in spring and then that's it and to get really good vegetables often you have to keep replanting so lettuce is something that has to keep <clears throat> keep being planted um, people often grow too much and they feel like <clears throat> they don't know what to do with all the produce and to them I would say like plant storage crops plant a lot of potatoes and carrots and um, and work on a cold storage and so that you know, if you grow five zucchini plants, you're going to have way too many zucchinis, but if you grow a lot of potatoes, you can never have too many, and you eat them all winter. Just plunge in and, and give it a try, and, and grow things that are easy, grow some lettuce and some radishes and beans, because they grow so fast, grow things and do it with your kids, because it's so fun to do with kids, and so you can get some real successes before you even try more challenging things.